Well, part of the stoicism came from my, I just, I, I always feel when I, I'm always very moved when I see the fight, the fight to continue. It's moving to me. When I see someone who's full of self-pity or giving up, it doesn't move me in the same. And I, I was very moved by her because I would see her, uh, even in her darkest hours, I would see her try to, you know, pull herself together and, and, and move forward. And I, and I feel that that's was moving and I feel it's her. And, um, and, and I wanted this to be about what, a, what an extraordinary artist she was, as I know you did too, and this is a celebration of her and this artist who was a fighter and, and, a, and a deeply feeling emotional person and, a, and a, someone who loved, loved art and gave her life for it, not someone who was just a tragedy. You know, she, she, um, so, so that was important. And the, the process was, he said, just to, you know, for anybody who hasn't sung at the top of your lungs, it's a crazy thing to do, and it's the most important thing. We never do it, right? We never know what it's like to be fully in your body with your fullest sound. Such a, and such an extraordinary thing to feel as a, as a person, to know what you got inside of you. I'm very lucky I had all these teachers and people holding my hand and people supporting me to say, you know, let's hear your full voice. Um, but it really meant a lot to me as a person and helped me and, and yes, gave me a key into, into her and, and to her characters and to her work. Um, yeah. Alba, I wanted to bring you in. Um, I think one interesting...